Hey guys, it's about Productions, and welcome to our episode of Pokemon Prism. Last episode, we went through Route 74, fought the Red Power Ranger on the way to Heath Village, and then in, in Heath Village, we explored pretty much everything you can, you know, explore here. There's not very much here, but we did take on the gym as well. We took out, the, it was a grass gym, we took out the grass gym for, I forgot what kind of badge it was, to be brutally honest. I think it was a forest badge or something. Or nature badge. I think it was the nature badge. I think that's what it was called. But anyways, this episode, we're going to be moving on to Route 69. So anyways, here we go. Route 69. We got a cool trainer. Carla with a Meryl. Alright, well, that's not a good matchup for us. I think we do have Growlithe up top. We do have Growlithe up top. So, we're going to have to switch. Let's go to Lombre. And it's going to go for double slap. Alright. That's kind of annoying how it's hitting five times. Okay, well, at least we have Absorb so we can get all of our HP back, but still, that's extremely annoying. It's gonna go for another one, isn't it? Oh, it's gonna go for Sing, even worse. Okay, so... Yeah, the one time that, you know, they do it, it works, then I use it like 60 times like last episode and it fails every single time. Yeah, that's right. Do that, jerks. Okay, let's see, we don't have any berries. Well, we may have pe patch up berries, but we don't have anything to wake us up. So we're going to be here for a while. Yay. Okay, critical hit. Come on, and we're still asleep. And we wake up. Sweet, we knock it out. All right, so I had to speed that up because I was going to get a little obnoxious and redundant. So let's see. Next Pokemon is a Chinchu. So I guess we'll stay in. I guess this is going to be a water type trainer. And it looks like we get a crit. All right. Thunder Shock is neutral against us, but shouldn't do much. Yeah. Of course, that would happen. Okay, so no Parafusion. That's so annoying. Okay. Don't get don't get hit with confusion. Oh my gosh. What are the odds? Usually, what happens is is either you get stuck paralyzed or you hit yourself with confusion. Good thing we not have to deal with that. So now we definitely have to switch, no matter what's next. Yeah, Meryl, we're switching no matter what. We are gonna go to Luxio. And destroy this Meryl's life. So let's see, we'll go for Thundershock. Where's the spark? It's, it's absent, I have no idea where it is. Okay, so yes, we don't have the reason why I said that is because, you know, usually in Diamond and Pearl and the other games, you get Spark when you level up into... Well, I think you even get it before you evolve into Alexio. So it's like, <laughs> we don't have it now, we just have Thundershock, which is really obnoxious, but... Let's see, do we... Okay, we have a Paralyzed Heal. Don't have to go back to the Pokemon Center, thank goodness. And let's put Larvitar up top, because we haven't put Larvitar into battle at all, really, the last episode. I mean, it got, like, a little bit of time, but that's about it. So, okay, we got a Wild Encounter, a Sentrits, nothing special. We got away safely. And this looks like a farmer guy. As a trainer, you must be prepared for anything. Oh, no, it's a hiker. Okay, my bad. Hiker Harry. Rolls off the tongue real well. Let's see, we got a Geodude, but we're gonna go for the dig. As long as it doesn't have magnitude, I think we're good. It's gonna go for Mud Slap. Okay, that's good. Super effective damage. We almost take it out. Hung on with Sturdy. Oh, that's right. He has abilities in this game, and Sturdy's one of them. Uh, okay, so we miss a Mud Slap. Go figure. Go freaking figure. Now we're minus two, but we do hit, so that's good. All right, and the next Pokemon is a Machop. We don't really have anything for that. But let's go Luxio on this one. Because why not? Let's go Luxio. Intimidate on the uh, Machop, that's good. We'll go for po Power Ballad. That was not very effective, unfortunately. Go for double kick, since we do have plus one attack. That still does quite a bit of damage, even though it has minus one. 
All right, whatever. Machop is down. And now Hiker Harry is going to send out an Onyx. We'll stay in. Because we have plus one on attack. And oh my gosh, the Onyx is faster than us. How is that physically possible? Okay. You know what? That's fine. Wrap me. As long as it's not like Gen 1's wrap, I think we're good. Critical hit. Ugh. What is, what is this? This episode hasn't had a really good start. Okay, Luxio's level 18. And that is it. Oh, I lost that. You did lose that because you suck. Okay, let's see. We are going to heal. We'll go potion up. All of our Pokemon here, or at least close. I mean, Lone Break can just heal itself, so I think we're good there. Yeah, let's keep Larvitar. Actually, no, it looks like there's a hiker already down there. Let's just go to Lombre. What's over here? Oh, all right, just a lot of grass with Pidgeys. Fair enough. There's an item. Oh, a Baneri! That's kind of cool. Nice little find there, I'll take it. I'm not gonna catch it, but still, something interesting. TM49 Fury Cutter. Okay, let's fight this hiker guy. You think you're slick, don't you? You're nothing compared to me. Oh, we'll see about that. What's your name, Terry? No, it's Larry, oh my gosh, I was close. Sorta. I'll take it, I'll take it. Terry, Larry. Eh, spelling can be a little bit off, but yet again, it sounds the same to switch the first letter, and we're good! Let's see, will this have sturdy? It does have sturdy. Oh my gosh, no! Mud slap, I swear, that's, that's gonna be the end of me. Uh, that's one mud slap! That's all it was, and we're missing a lot! No! Okay, this is, just, this is never gonna be easy. It's never going to be easy. Okay, we knock it out. <sighs> wow. So annoying. All right, next Pokemon matchup, a Gligar. Interesting, but we're gonna go to Sneasel. Quite effective against Gligar, so I think we'll be good. And plus we're freaking fast. So Gligar should not even be able to attack. And that is true. And that is it. Alright, Hiker Larry now has an Onyx. I guess we'll go to Lombre. And we'll go for Absorb. Actually, I don't know, are we gonna be faster? Because if we're not faster, we're dead. Okay, so it's barely faster than Luxio. That's not good. Uh, let's heal a little bit. Oh, all right, well, I guess we'll just use a super potion, call it good. All right, it's gonna go for wrap. All right, let's see, how much will this do? Oh, that would've been close. Oh, actually that wouldn't, oh, never mind. <laughs> we probably would've died there. Okay, good, so now let's go for absorb. And we'll slowly heal ourselves back up. Hung on with Sturdy. That's... Ugh. Hate that. Okay. Rock throw. But we were faster. So we somehow outsped the Onyx. Maybe by freak chance, it just somehow outsped us before. That's kind of weird, but... Alright, whatever. Lone Bray level 19. And that is it for Larry. Not slick enough. Yeah, well, good for you. All right, let's move this way. And we need cut. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna need cut. I don't wanna teach any of my Pokemon cut. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Hopefully there's a PC somewhere, otherwise I'm gonna have to travel all the way back to the last town. Which I guess wouldn't be necessarily an awful thing. And it looks like there's no PC here. Okay, I'll be right back after I go get a Pokemon I can learn cut. Okay, we are back. Here we go. We can finally cut. I just got a Cyndaquil and just 
well, I mean, it was from the person, I think it was a person that gave us the Cyndaquil. But anyways, I'm not gonna be using Cyndaquil, so I was like, yeah, I was just making our cut slave, because why not? So anyways, we got this guy now, Black Belt Akira. And he has a Machoke, okay. Level 18, really? You know, you don't get until level 28, you know, but whatever. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, that's Bullet Punch. Well, that's resistant, so that's not a big deal. But still kind of cool that Bullet Punch in this game. That was a Gen 4 move. But yes, we have Leech Seed to sap all that back in case he decides to do a lot of damage to us, in which I don't think he will because he's just going for Bullet Punch over and over and over again. So, absorb. We'll absorb the life out of him. And yeah, we'll just Oh we outsped, that's nice. Oh we got a crit, that's nice. Oh you got a crit on you just got a crit back. Ugh, that's so annoying. That's that's just unfair. <laughs> when somebody gets a crit, you should give them the glory of getting a crit and not crit back right away. That should be a rule. A written rule in Pokemon Prism. In this game only. <laughs> Okay, so we got an item here. If I can just get around. I'm gonna get off this bike. It's kind of getting a little hard to navigate. An Abra? I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball. If it doesn't catch it, it's teleporting, so. One. It's gone. See ya. I expected that. I was just hoping for the off chance we can catch one, just because. And wild encounter. Not good. Okay. We got this guy. You got to deny my awesome skill. Well, I haven't seen your so-called awesome skills, so I'm judging you and saying that you're stupid. So let's see. You got a Kadabra. You're stupid. Okay. Well, at least it probably has confusion at this point. As Psycho Cut. It's a physical attack, so it's not gonna take us out. Yep. Okay. So Astonish is not gonna do that much damage. We are going to switch into Sneasel. And this cadaver can't do jack squat to us. Thank you. And Pursuit. We outspeed because Sneasel's so fast. Freaky fast. And there you go. That's it. Lone Bright level 20. Sneasel level 19. That's it for Peter. I admit defeat because you suck. Okay. At least you admit it now. Okay. Okay, what is going on here? We got a Pidgeys. A Pidgeys, yes. And doesn't... Mm, stop it! <laughs> I just want to see what's around here. What's over here? Okay, that was a waste of time. Oh my gosh. Alright, time to go back down here. We saw a cave to the right, but I'm not sure if we're supposed to go there. Probably not. We're supposed to probably be going south. I'm sure they'll block us off and make us go a certain way. Let's see. Oh! <gasps> wow, that brought us all the way back here? Oh my gosh! Yeah, we do have to go in that cave. But I guess before we go, let's might as well heal up our Pokemon. Oh! Yeah, this, this brings back some old memories. Okay, so now we're at Caper City. We'll heal up. And I guess we'll go to that cave! All right, because yeah, that took us all the way back. Pretty interesting. Okay, we're all healed up. And yeah, let's see, is there a Pokemart somewhere? Probably need to go and get some items. Hopefully they update all their items. They don't. Okay, well, let's just buy a few potions. I mean, they're not as useful, but still better than nothing, I guess. And yeah, I guess we'll go back to where we were before. Oh, you want to use cut? Yes, we do want to use cut. Let me through. Yep, this looks like this is where we need to go. I think, maybe. Oh, we're at Mound Cave again? Is there like two parts or something? Wait a minute. Weren't we just here? Yeah. We were just here. Yeah, there was a cave right over here. So yeah, we're in the tunnel. There's wild Pokemon here, forgot about that. Okay, this is not a, Okay, so here we are. 
So yeah, we're back down here. Oh, the fry shop pass. Okay, I'm gonna cut until I figure out where I need to go. All right, see you guys in a second. Okay, I figured out where we need to go, and it was quite simple. You go this way. <laughs> oh man, uh, that was unfortunate. Okay, so now we're here, Route 75. Let me try something I learned at school today. <laughs> yeah, sure, go ahead. Knock yourself out, little boy. Travis. Uh, he has a swallow. That's kind of cool. But not a good matchup. So we're going to go to Larvitar real quick. Wing attack's going to do absolutely nothing. Actually, I did quite a bit, surprisingly. Okay, so let's see. Twister. Special attacking move, it's gonna do absolutely nothing because Swallow's not a special attacker. There we go. Might as well just gone for wing attack. And we don't take it out. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. Okay. Rock throw to the face, to the beak, and you're gone. <laughs> Alright. Lone Bright level 21. Trying to learn Razor Leaf, okay. Thank you for actually trying to learn something good now. Let's get rid of... Astonish. I kind of want to keep Absorb. Uh, Astonish really is not really useful for me. So, yes, there's that. That's it for Travis. I didn't study enough, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I guess so. Let's keep moving on here. Hey, there's this is a new route, so I wonder what new Pokemon are here. Got a low tad. Not very new. But it was worth checking. Baneri. Okay, well, I'm not seeing anything special. We're just gonna move on. Okay, I have a cute Pokemon. Look! Alright, we'll see what this cute Pokemon is. And we got Michelle here with Volbeat. Not very cute, but... Uh, okay, we'll just go for the bubble. I, I, I'm just... I don't know what to say. It's gonna... It's just gonna protect Stalus. Oh my gosh. So obnoxious. Okay, so it's speed fell. Like that's gonna do anything. It was just gonna go for protect over and over and over again. Okay, it's going for quick attack now, I guess. Sweet. You're just gonna protect stall me. Ugh. And you're dead. Thank you. Alright. Might as well save a little bit of time there. Not dealing with that. Okay. Wigglytuff. Hmm. Let's go. Let's go Luxio. And we'll go for the double kick. That did absolutely nothing. Fairy Wind. Power Ballad! Doesn't affect it. Uh oh! Has rollout? Hmm. Well, that's a little bit disappointing. Let's switch out. Because this thing could potentially sweep our entire team with rollout, which that would be stupid. But it, that, well, actually, I don't think it'll happen because I'm just going to go for dig, and there it kills its rollout because it can't hit me. So, <laughs> what if it still could hit me when I was underground? I'd be so upset. Okay, so dig. Is not gonna knock it out, but we were close. And we'll just scratch it to end it. Oh yeah, I forgot, it's part sound type. So it's fairy sound type, I think. Is it? I don't know, something like that. So, we're done with that guy, or that lady, whatever. And we got a sailor person. Ah, the sailor people. They're quite the interesting group. Let's see. Oh snap, what happened to the bridge? Couldn't tell you, bud. Oh, his name is Dave. And he has Surskit. <laughs> One of the worst Pokemon ever. Okay. So let's go for Thundershock. It's gonna go for Bubble because it's somehow faster than us. Oh, well, I guess it kind of makes sense. It's a little bug and it's like, it scoots around. I mean, have you seen its animation in Pokemon XD? That thing just slides around, it's like real fluid, and it's like, okay. And it does move pretty quick in that game. So it's kind of understandable. 
So Thundershock's gonna knock it out. And we get Petty Experience, but it gets us enough to level 19. So I'll take it. Your skill is world class! Mm hmm. Alright, now it's time for Sneasel. Pokemon strike with such grace! Yes, they do. And you're also a bird guy. I was not expecting that, but sweet. Oh, we got a good matchup. Yo, Sneasel! Icy wind to the face, to the beak. And that's gone. All right, next Pokemon is a Farfetch. No, it's a Pidgey, of course. Let's be something boring. Why not be something more interesting? I mean, Farfetch isn't good, but at least it's something interesting. Maybe he'll have something for his final Pokemon. You never know. You never know. Okay, we still knock it out. All right. Next Pokemon, please. Pidgeotto. Not very interesting. Darn. Okay. So, it's level 18. It's probably going to live one Icy Wind, so... Yeah, whatever. Because it's an evolution, it's more bulky. Yeah, as you can see, there you go. It's Speed Fell, but it's going for Quick Attack, so it doesn't even matter. So, Icy Wind. And it's gone. Sneasel's level 20. Trying to learn Faint Attack. Okay. I like it. Let's get rid of... Let's get rid of Scratch. I don't ever use Scratch. I don't really use Metal Claw either, but it's good for coverage. But I like showing off. Yeah, well, you lost, so whatever. I don't even want to talk to you. So let's see. We got a Growlithe. Our team's getting a little bit beat up. But that is okay, and we're getting attacked by- Oh! <gasps> Execute! That's an interesting Pokemon here. It's not very good. I mean, it's, it's good in Pokemon Go, but that's about it. So, yeah. We'll just move on. Hey, this trainer. You look good, but not good enough for me. Wow. She's picky. Let's see. So, last Daphne. And she is a Mareep. Go Growlithe! We'll go, yeah, Flame Wheel. Although I have to worry about static, but eh. Whatever it happens, it happens. Didn't happen, good. So we'll just do another Flame Wheel. Let's take out the Mary. And then we'll go from there. No static, sweet. Now it's time for Flaffy. Well, it's time to switch. Let's go. Yeah, let's go Larvitar. We should be faster than a Flappy. Flappies are extremely slow. So let's dig. Light screen. That's not going to help you at all. <laughs> Physical attack. See ya. <laughs> not even close. Okay, so Larvitar is getting to level 20. And that is it for Daphne. I see, so you can battle that way. What? Larvitar is evolving! Do, 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 do. There you go, we got a Pupitar! Sweet! Got a Pupitar! Oh, wait, nope, I don't want to use that there. <laughs> but yeah, let's take a look at its stats. I'd say a pretty good attack. Look at that. It's close to Sneasel, and Sneasel is just enough. Outright beast. So that's pretty decent. Whoa, who's this? Humans didn't live in Naljo until the protectors brought those who are pure of heart. Okay. Being a gate guard pays very well. And what do I do? I just stay here all day and do nothing. Hooray for capitalism! <laughs> oh man. There are buildings there are they are building these route gates everywhere. Yes, that's usually how that works, because it makes things a little more interesting. And he, we are at Laurel City. It's so silly. The gym leader thinks she's some sort of queen. I can't stand it. Well, sounds like a you problem, not a me problem. Brooklyn, the local gym leader, is too entitled. I fear for this generation. All right, at least the old man's saying it now. Maybe there's some saying to that. Okay, Route 76, that's down there. We're going to explore this a little bit, and then we'll end off the episode. There's a lab nearby that can revive fossils! Wow, that seems like a place I'd like to go to. Hehe, <laughs> I collect sticks. 
What's that? Stickers? Oh my, younglings these days. Here, you can have one of my sticks. We got a stick. <laughs> mm-hmm. They can be useful in the right place. All right. Oh, Grandma, is your memory really gone? <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you for the stick. I don't think I'm ever gonna use the stick. Let's see, who are you? The city's bad, you need to enter this cave. Okay, well, interesting. Let's look at you! A new shop is open here recently. That, maybe, probably, most likely. Hey, there's an item right there. Is it around? Oh, yeah, it is all the way around. Let's see. It is TM16 Icy Wind. Well, we already have a Pokemon with Icy Wind, so whatever. Let's see, what's up here? Oh, is this the lab? I'm the scientist! That's right, a scientist! I invented a machine to revive Pokemon fossils! Yeah, sure. You can't fool a scientist, you don't have a fossil! Alright, yes, that's true, I don't have a fossil. I know about four Pokemon fossils. Anorth came from a claw fossil, Lily came from a root fossil, and Kranidos came from a skull fossil, and Shieldon came from an armor fossil! You can find fossils while mining, so good luck! Oh, but you need somewhere safe to carry them. Here, try this! And we got the fossil case. If you mine up a fossil, put it in that fossil case and bring it here. All right, I will. But it looks like that seems to be about it here. I guess we could take a look at the Pokemart, see if there's anything new here. Hey, there's two shopping clerks. Yeah, yeah, we need some super potions. That's a definite must. And we got revives now. I'll buy one. I feel like that'll be useful for at least a little... It'll come in clutch. Let's see, you can exchange gold tokens you have found for prizes. Oh! Gold tokens. Didn't we pick up one a long time ago, or did we... I swear, I've, I'm familiar with that before. I don't know. Maybe it's like... Hmm, where do you find those? You can find a gold token in each and every area. One in Spurge City, one in Mound Cave, etc. Okay, so are they like just sitting there or are they hidden? I'm assuming they're hidden items. And we're gonna need an item finder or something to find these gold tokens. I don't know, we're gonna have to find out. Seems uh, very legit. Hey, the Name Raider's house. Huh, okay, so there's a Name Raider here. Good to know. Okay, so we'll heal up our Pokemon. That'll be the end of this episode. So, yes, if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for some more Pokemon Prism. See you guys later.